In this first video, I'm going to take you through the first step in creating a shooter style arcade game. I'm going to show you how to set the position and the direction of the shooter sprite, create an angle variable, use a condition, if then, and program an arrow key press script to control the direction of the rocket ship sprite. As you can see, I've got a blank stage here. I've deleted the cat. I'm going to go into the sprite library and I'm going to select the rocket ship. Something that I can see at the moment is that my rocket ship is pointing straight up and I know that a sprite by default points at 90 degrees. So at the moment, if I make a projectile or a bullet come out of this sprite, it's going to come out in this direction. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the costumes tab and I'm going to turn my sprite. So that when the projectile comes out of the rocket ship, it's going to be coming out in the right place. I'm not going to be changing costumes, so I'm going to delete this one. I'll go back to the script area. Now there are many different ways that you can organize your gameplay. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to set the rocket ship, the shooter, in the middle down the bottom of the stage. It's going to then shoot out in this direction at targets that are going to move horizontally across the top of the stage. I recommend that you follow this same setup, but then at the end, when you've finished the basic setup, you can make changes so that your gameplay is different. So now that I have my rocket ship shooter sprite, I need to set up its starting position and angle. So to begin with, I need an event block when the green flag is clicked. I would like my sprite to be in the middle, down the bottom of the stage. I know that the Y axis controls the vertical position and the X axis controls the horizontal position. I would like to place my sprite at zero on the X axis and minus 180 on the Y axis. So I'm going to use a go to block for that. Zero on the X axis and minus 180 on the Y axis. I'll click on the green flag. So my rocket ship is in the right place, but it's not pointing in the correct direction. By default, a sprite is going to be pointing from left to right. That's 90 degrees. I would like my shooter sprite to be pointing up. That's zero degrees. When the green flag is clicked, my sprite is in the correct place. Now that the starting position is set up, we need to create a script that is going to program the arrow keys to aim the shooter sprite. So I'm going to use the left and right arrow keys so that when I press the left key, my shooter points in this direction. When I press the right key, my shooter will point in this direction. So to begin with, we need a conditional statement. If then. If the arrow key is pressed, then do this. If a key is pressed, and in this case, the right arrow key, then change direction. I'm going to duplicate this for if the left arrow key is pressed. Now we need a variable. We're going to use a variable to control the angle. So data, variable, angle. Click OK. So we're going to use the change block. Every time the right arrow is clicked, we're going to change the angle. I'm at zero degrees at the moment, so I'm going to move in a positive direction towards 90 degrees. To move in this direction, I'm going to move a negative direction. So for the right arrow key press, I'm going to change the angle by one. For the left key press, I'm going to change the angle by negative one. I need to put a forever loop around the outside of these so that Scratch will always check if the left or right arrow is pressed throughout the game. Now at the moment the variable is going to change, but the point in direction is not going to change. So I need to add one more block of code before this is finished. Point in direction, angle. So when the angle is changed, the rocket is going to change direction. So I click on the green flag and I click on the right arrow and I move 
in a positive direction to the right and I click on the left arrow and I move in a negative direction to the left. So now something that I've noticed is that I press stop and I click play again and it doesn't point back in the direction of zero because straight away it's going to point in the direction of the angle and it's currently set to be pointing to the left. So I need to fix this. I need to use a set angle to zero at the start so that when I click on the green flag, I'm going to point in direction of zero degrees. So that's the shooter setup. Go to the next video now to see how to set up the projectile.